Hey team, welcome to knowyourforest.org. This is going to be a pretty simple walkthrough of the Drupal content interface so that you can get in and edit the content, manage the content of the pages within the Know Your Forest website. Behind most modern websites is a content management system or CMS. Some of the more popular ones are WordPress, Blogger, Joomla, and Drupal. For knowyourforest.org, we're using Drupal uh, one of the reasons for this is it's an infinitely scalable website. It's also open source, so that if we need help from an outside party, they'll be able to get in. The code is pretty transparent, and they can make changes and help us out or add functionality to the site pretty easily. But for our purposes, Drupal works kind of on a two-step process for adding content. Step one, you need to place an item in storage. That could be an image, a publication, a link, anything. Once that item is in storage, then step two, you call it out of storage whenever and wherever you want it. The reason Drupal does this is for efficiency of duplication. If I name an item, say I add a PDF, I name it, I describe it, associate any information with it into the storage library, then I can call that up 100 times very easily rather than inputting code or loading up a PDF each time I want to access that publication. So if you remember those steps, load it into the library, and then access it from the library, then adding content to the site is going to be really easy. So let's take a look at Know Your Forest on the Drupal side of things. First thing that you need to do is log into Drupal. You'll be able to do this with the login and password information that I sent you earlier. Once you do, you'll realize there's not much changed about this site, and in fact that's true. You can access the site and navigate it just as you were on a normal browser. You can get into your events, you can access the map. It works just like the website has always worked. The only difference is this big black bar at the top and the big gray bar at the top. This is how, and in my case, it says, hello Jordan. This is how it indicates that it's in the Drupal content management system, that you're logged in and now you can make changes to the site. Now this black bar, that's really the gears of the site, and I hesitate getting in there at all. Um, that's something that can really add functionality to the site, but it can muck it up pretty quickly as well. The gray bar is where we'll be making our edits. This is where you can really access and change the content of the site. So let's look at the gray bar a little bit. I have add content, find content, edit current page, and edit profile. I don't know if everybody has edit profile. That just may be a function of the uh, administrative role of the site. But the other three is how we'll be accessing the site and getting into adding content as well as editing content. So first thing, let's take a look at the second option, find content. This really gets us into the entire library of the site. All of the content that we have is in here, events, downloadable documents, basic pages, uh, links aplenty in here. Now there's a lot in here, so how do you find what you're looking for? Well, you can sort by title. You can sort by type, you can sort by when you think it was updated last. But instead, I typically use the search filter here. It's got two pull downs. One of them is status. I typically don't touch this. Again, this is kind of programmer language right here. But the type I do, if I think, mm, I am looking for an event, I can click event, hit filter, and it filters the entire library to bring up just events. And I can search it, see if I find what I'm looking for. Now, if I say, nope, it wasn't an event, it, in fact, I think was a web link, then I can go to web link, same thing, filters it, gives me just the web links, now I can search for it. And again, if I'm in web links, I can then hit title and search for it alphabetically. So if you think something is in the library and you're trying to find it, this is the way to do so. If this really isn't what you're after, you can always click this black X in the upper right-hand corner. It kills that overlay and gets you back to the normal site. Now, what I'll be covering in a further video is how to add content. That's the first one on our list. And if we hit that, then it gives us the content types that we can add. Do we want to add a county to the map? Do we want to add an event? How about adding a video or a web link? This is where we do that. And again, I'll cover that more in a further video. So for the time being, let's click the black X to get out and get back to the page. Now, say we're on the maps page, just as an example. And I'm in Baker County and realize, oh, I've, I've put the wrong phone number for Bob Parker. This should actually end in a 9. Well, I can go to the Find Content, search for this page, open up that page to edit it, 
and then get into the content of that page. Or Drupal makes it very easy. I go to the page that I want. I hit this third option on the gray bar, Edit Current Page. And when I click that, it gives me an overlay, and this is the content of that page. I have the title. I have the body content that I want. And down here are all of the contacts from that county. Here's Bob Parker. That's not an 8. That's a 9. I've made a change. Very important. Scroll down to the bottom. Click Save. Once you've done that, then the change has been made to the page. But I realized I actually did that in error, that it was an 8 all along. I'll go back to Edit Current Page. Scroll down to Bob's contact. Change the 9 back to an 8. Make sure to scroll down to the bottom and hit Save. And when I do that, the content has been updated and everything is back to normal. So the black bar and the gray bar are really your access into Drupal. Everything else we'll cover in the next couple of videos of how to add video, how to add publications, and how to access those when you need to add them to the site.